And it's a big night in high school sports. Grand Junction was in action in both girls lacrosse and girls soccer at Canyon View Park. And it's always a great view at Canyon View. The Book Cliffs, the Mesa, absolutely beautiful. The Battle Mountain Huskies are in town and they led 1-0 here in half one, looking to tack on the lead. But Grand Junction goalie Maddie Snell stepped up with some big stops in this first half to keep the damage at one. But now late in the half, it's GJ on the attack. Sedona Charnecki charging ahead and she goes for a goal. But what a stop made by Battle Mountain goalie Ella Glenn Dinning as the Huskies would lead 1-0 at the break. Half two now and the Tigers came out determined. Kiana Sanders, two the net and it's in the net and the Tigers have tied it with a nice shot from Sanders and now Junction is looking to add to it it's Micah Morales behind the defense but great work from Glenn Denning stopping that one in its tracks but the Tigers just kept pressing in the second half Charnecki waving through defenders but again Glenn Denning is there for a big save. What a huge role she played in this one. Now with just seconds to go, a final chance to take the lead. Maria Calkins from distance and oh, on target. Great shot, but Glendinning is the hero again as the Tigers just can't find the winner as this one ends in a 1-1 draw at Canyon View Park. And just as I arrived at Canyon View, the final whistle sounded as the Grand Junction Tigers escaped the demons of Durango and girls lacrosse. And how about GJ? Now a very solid 7-4 on the year and it was a great night for the Palisade Bulldogs Palisade Downs Glenwood Springs and girls soccer as the dogs are now a terrific nine one and one on the year and next to Palisade takes on Central on Tuesday and the Bulldogs weren't done up in the mountains as Palisade thrashes Battle Mountain in both games with a double header the big congrats to Palisade head coach Nate Porter taking home wins number 100 and 101 as a Bulldog and in the final game of the regular season the Colorado Avalanche had no trouble with the Oilers as they win their 50th game and enter the Stanley Cup playoffs riding high. And of course, that game has no bearing on playoff seating. The Avs are locked into a series with the Winnipeg Jets. Game one in Winnipeg is set for Sunday at 5. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.